Hey, today Sam and I are at the Chris Point Lighthouse. It's slightly misting. Did you look at the temperature? It's in the 40s, yeah. low 40s, I think. Uh, pretty crummy weather. So uh, hopefully the, the agates will make up for it. So wait, do you want to check out the lighthouse or look for agates? Agates. <laughs> okay, forget the lighthouse. Rocks it is. Okay, we found the rocks. Always unikite on the beaches up here. We had rocks on and off for a little bit there, and now it's turned to almost all sand. We're gonna walk around that point and see what it looks like. And if it looks sandy, we're gonna go back and go the other way. Just spotted some beach glass. It's pretty uncommon up here in the UP. Yeah. There's hardly any people for the leave glass. That might be a Uper light. Take it back to the Jeep and see. I don't know what causes that. A lot of black rocks here. I like watching the black sand. It's kind of like a an ever-changing painting. Well, as far as we can see, it just looks like sand, so I think we're gonna head back and try the other side of the lighthouse. We need a lighthouse to find our way back in this fog. Uh, another piece of beach glass. Green this time. Don't usually find that much of that here. You're doing well. I guess that's just granite, but it's kind of a pretty piece of granite. All right, going the other way now. So far I have trash and one possible Uper light in my bucket. Hopefully there's more rocks this way. Nice piece of red jasper right there. Unikite with a stripe. That doesn't look like it'll tumble well, though. Some unikite tumbles really great. And if it looks like, uh, more like granite, like that one, that probably won't tumble real well. This one probably won't tumble real well either. That one looks sort of like nice. Uh, I'll find you a good one later. It's weird that pink's not one of my favorite colors, but they always catch my eye on the beach. Kind of like pink rocks. I don't think I'll keep that one, but it might just be that it's a rare color here. Not very much pink. Lots of other colors, though. That's a strange one. One little triangle.
pretty. It's cool. Almost looks like a pudding stone. It's definitely not a pudding stone, but it's got some similarities. That's an example of unikite that will probably tumble pretty well. Well, this one I don't think is an agate, but has some agate qualities. Going in the bucket, whatever it is. Yeah, it's cold and kind of miserable out here. And it's a pretty slow day for agates. Kind of thought I had one there, but I don't think so. No shortage of pretty rocks, though. Unikites is everywhere here. Lots of granite. Well, this isn't an agate, but it's a pretty cool piece of quartz. Love those white lines in there. Found one like that earlier this spring. I haven't tumbled it yet, and I have no idea if it will tumble well, but it's a pretty cool looking rock. the yellow one. I think I filmed this little stream before. It's kind of going to the water right there, a little tiny bit of it. And then it just sort of dead ends right there. Must seep underneath the sand or something. the one I wanted to show you. Kind of like one of our mystery rocks, but better. Sam's called me over, said he found a good one. Ooh, I see it. You gotta be very happy with that. Yeah. We've been here, what, probably over an hour. Yeah, it's been pretty slow. And that's definitely a pretty good agate. Not a crazy amount of things, but I'm definitely happy with that the way we've been I, doing I that. like it. I'd be very happy. It's a pretty stripy rock. Kind of yellow and uh, red color. Probably not gonna keep it because it'd be both like, crack things. Yeah, those go really deep. Otherwise, that'd be beautiful. You could break it along the crack. Yeah, then I don't know what's left. Oh well. Okay. Goodbye, rock. Get in again. This one's a big one. Nice bands in there. That's about it for bands, as far as I can tell. Forts, forts the uh, window there. And just kind of, oh, there's more bands right there. That's a. It's a big one. Yeah. Is that one of your biggest? Uh, probably, yeah. This isn't great or anything, but there's a few bands in there. So I guess it's like a sea maggot. Nothing too exciting. I can do better. Just found this big thing. It's kind of agate -y. It's kind of texture on the outside and it's translucent, but no real definite bands that I can find. Yeah, it's hard to say on that one. I don't know. You gonna take it home? I think so. Let's see what we can do with it. You wanna cut it? Maybe. Alright, we'll, we'll see. You'll, you'll know when you watch the video if we cut it or not. So we'll show it here.
All right, Sam's down here in the basement with me, and I just got this cut. He saw the first slice taken off, I think, but not the rest of it. So here you go, Sam. Check it out. It's kind of neat. Not not an agate, I don't think. Those are weird. Yeah, but yeah, but that that's kind of yeah. a little tiny bit agate. Yeah. I don't think it's an agate, but no, probably maybe chalcedony or some sort of type of weird chert. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I never really seen anything like it. Yeah. Brought it home for a reason. Interesting. Yeah. And unfortunately for Rob, I was looking in the big rocks that were up there. And uh, they ran out, so I came down here and found this one. That, I think I would have noticed that one. That is a pretty nice agate. It's a good thing I bring uh, you along, or else people watching these videos wouldn't have anything to look at. <laughs> Yeah, the rocks have sort of fizzled out. We're going to keep walking for a while and see if we come back to more of them. We're about a half mile down the beach probably from where we were, and the rocks are starting back up. So these should be less picked over for sure. The red and white one down there. Oops. See if I can get it. It's interesting. Well, maybe you just pick it up now that it's shallower. Quartzite, I think. I like the combination of the speckles and the stripe here. almost thought we had a pudding stone, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, the matrix doesn't look quite right, but sure is close. Yeah. If not one, it might be one. Yeah. That's funny. Rocks are very round here. It's sort of different than what we usually see. Sam just handed me this very clear quartz. That's not clear clear, but it's more clear than uh, what we usually see. There's a like a green inclusion in there. There's one way deep inside. We ran out of rocks again and walked, what, maybe a quarter mile? Yeah. And we got rocks again. Lots of rocks here. Hope they're good rocks. They're colorful. Sam just tossed this one at me. It's cheerful, isn't it? Well, that's one. It's worth the walk, huh? Yeah. That's a little good. Yeah, I really thought I had one. That sure looked like an agate. But it's not quite. It's a pretty piece of unikite with a lot more quartz than you usually see. Omar with a hole. That's Sam's find. I found this thinking it was an agate, and I'm pretty sure it is. And then I turned it over, and I think that's amethyst there in the end. Not quite as big as the one you found this spring, huh? Not quite. <laughs> that um, one was awesome. Yeah. I wonder how much amethyst goes into this. I'm pretty sure it's an agate that husk, and that's up in the end. Ooh. Same just threw a banded shirt at me. found a really weird one. I'm not really sure if it's an agate, but it kind of looks like one. It's like transparent in the middle, isn't it? Yeah. That's really unusual. 
very green color on the outside. Weird. Yeah. I found a rock just like this uh, in Lake Huron uh, a couple years ago. Cut it up and uh, part of it's really soft. The, the darker part I think is soft and the, the lighter part is harder. That's fun. That's the only two I've ever seen like that. Well, I found one, but uh, mostly quartz. No real bands. Kind of looks like ice in that quartz. Yeah, it does. About the right size, just we want it full of bands, don't we? That'd be that'd be better. Still fun. Some nice bands going around there. That's real nice. Potato e on the outside and then quartz on the inside. I always pick up trash, but maybe somebody's trying to tell me something. Maybe I need a backhoe to find my rocks. Any agates down here? Nope. All right, we're inside the Jeep here. I uh, brought back three rocks that I think might be Uperlites. Um, I'm calling the two big ones Uperlites, and I, I think this one's not. Uh, Sam, what's your prediction? Um, I think one of the two bigger ones is going to be, and then not on the little one at all. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Uh, li well, there's a little orange in there. Good. The blue stuff is dust. That, that is one, not a very good one. Well, that one's got a lot of orange. That's a good one. And this one, I don't see anything. All right, so one decent one. This looks much better at dark. One so-so one, and no. All right, it's time for the stone stash. Uh, this is where we are. This is the road coming in to Chris Point. And a little bit before you get to the lighthouse, you get this view of the water. And then down the road a little bit farther is the lighthouse itself. So Sam, where are you putting them? Okay, right there. Oh, what did we have there? We had uh, the lesser of the two Uper lights. Sam wanted the good one, so you have to fight him for that. This rock that everybody loves so much, and the banded chirp. So they're all tucked right in behind there. Put the grass up. All right, so here we are. Just look behind all the posts until you find it. See you next time.